It's me, Palesburg, Ain't no back with another review. Oh man, and it's a happy day when you get a brand new masterpiece, but even more when it's an awesome character like Iron Hat. Yeah, one of my all-time favorite characters in G1 era, and man, I'm so happy to get him. I was really surprised when I bought him, because usually they're around, I guess, one thousand. 600 NT dollars and this one was 22 yeah 2200 dollars and I was like whoa why is he so much and uh yeah um after getting the box it's a much bigger box and I'll show that when I do the close up of the box but yeah it's looking good though because I'm pretty happy with what I see right now and I cannot wait to open this up so uh yeah let's just go Check out um, the box, see what's inside, and then get to transform, and then possibly eat Ironhide, if he's good enough. Oh, come on, already I love this figure, and I ain't even opened it yet, so uh, yeah, let's do this. Woohoo! Alright, almost forgot about this, but the collector coin. So here you have very cool Ironhide, and it opens up, and there you could see MP27. Iron hide right there. Yep, looking pretty good. And this part just folds down to see nothing there. And the back is the jetpack, which is pretty cool right there. And Hasbro 2016. So, all right, ninjas coming. All right, so here's Iron Hide's box, and looking fantastic. He's a Nissan Cherry Vanette, and it's MP27 Cybertron Securitai right there. Um, if we go down, we can see basic um, box top, and just to show you, but it is a little bit bigger. You can see here how much bigger, and if I put tracks in front, you can see it's wider that way. Um, here's the picture of the car being blocked by the Taiwanese sticker, and this side shows a very cool picture of Ironhide. And then the back here, and if you want, you can pause it to look at it. Yeah, it just shows everything inside, which is a ton of stuff. Yeah, so uh, let's just get to the review. Woohoo! Alright, I normally don't do it, but because Iron Hide basically has two trays inside, I have to. So you come with Iron Hide. There's a gun, there's the missile launcher, there's the missile. Two other guns, a platform, and it's just a piece of plastic. Yeah. Originally, I thought that that transformed like part of the trailer, but no, it's just a separate piece of plastic. And all his uh, accessories go somewhere on here. So there's a peg for everything, it's in the instructions. Come over here, the secondary tray that's under it, you got hands, you've got the face, you've got a sensor. Okay, and then you've got, and I put this here, it's a piece of, uh, just a piece of cardboard cutout that goes in the chest so when you use the sensor you throw that in okay he's got the nozzle shooters and nozzle barrels for the liquid shooter that he has when he put out fires and things the jetpack and the fire from the jetpack also of course you have the instructions which you know same old same old nice and in color because that's the way that they do it with um masterpieces and then you get your Masterpiece card with a really nice piece of artwork right there. And Cybertron Security MP27 Iron Hat. And we go, and of course, Iron Hat. And then in Japanese, has a profile robot mode. Um, Nissan Cherry, the net. And then there are his ticky spickies 
right there. So let's see, he's got the strength of a seven, the intelligence of an eight, speed of a three, endurance of a nine, rank of a seven, courage of a 10, fire blast of a seven, and the skill of a seven. So wow, that's a lot of stuff to go through. So let's get to the figure. Woohoo! Oh man, I'm already tired. All right, and here we have Ironhide in his vehicular mode, looking absolutely perfect. I mean, without somebody saying that's Ironhide, as soon as I would see this, I would say that car is perfect for Ironhide, and it is. I look at it, nice chrome, nice details throughout. Really fantastic job that the car does. You know, pretty much always on masterpieces. It just looks fantastic. I love it. It's great. On top of that, um, at the top of them, there's a mech tech port, which, you know, that little square there, and they've used it, you know, of course, even on um, uh, Sideswipe. They have it, but you can go, you can take one of his weapons, you know, put it on the top right there, and then when you pull it out, you know, fills in. So, very cool. You can attach weapons to the top. And uh, also on the bottom, and these are really snug in there, is um, the guns. You can take his lasers, and there you go. They can stick in there. As you can see, it's a snug fit. They're not going to fall out, I mean, which is very cool. I love whenever you can store things um, in the vehicle mode. So, yeah, that's awesome. And just for size comparison, yeah. Here he is next to Tiger Track, which is just Sideswipe. Just saying, yeah. Transforming my G2 Sideswipe. He's got all kinds of Dr. Wu stuff on him, which no, I'm not going to reclip that belt and everything. So yeah, you'll have to deal with uh, <laughs> Tiger Tracks right there. But yes, you can see the size. A little bit wider toward the back here, but you know, the mass, much more massive figure right here. And so, yeah, let's just go and get him into his robot mode. Man, I can't wait. All right, so let's transform Ironhide into his robot mode. So first thing we do is we're gonna pop up this part here, and then we just take out his arms on the side and flip them out there like this. Okay. All right, once we do this now, we're gonna go in this part here, we're going to flip down and then we're going to extend it and uh, yeah it's kind of okay under here there is right there you can pull it out so it's kind of folded in like this so if you pull it you get this you're going to have to wait a little bit um, to use that all right once we do that we got the arms over to the side here come to the back and we're just going to separate the legs and I do this now, even though they don't say to do with that. And flip out the heel spurs here, like that. Alright, once we do that, we're also going to... Oh, this one comes up first. Open up this. Now, <clears throat> the wheels. Um, this is kind of cool. Okay, they're locked in this way. You kind of bend it, because it's in there. And you're going to basically stuff it inside. And then this piece is going to come around and come over here and lock in right here like this. Nice and smooth. And again, so you can see the, uh, that a joint in there. You bend it, push it out a little bit, flip it down this way. Then we're going to come around. There's a joint here. It's going to flip around and basically just line it up with that. And there you go. Come up here and this is going to snap in around this joint right right here there's a little tab so I'm going to make it clear over here and on this side come around here and if you want you can try to push it out a little bit yeah so it doesn't really rub up against it but yeah, there it is and then pull down the knee joint and rotate pull down the knee joint and rotate like that pretty much we have the legs done right now and actually, I forgot to, <laughs> I transformed them before. This part actually goes here. Part of the transformation, pull that one up. Okay, once we have this, then we're going to take the 
these parts and pull them out to the side and they're going to rotate toward the back. All right, and we're going to pop out this piece here, pops out and move it up for right now. And we get the legs, and I can see the legs, the waist, all this right here. Now, we have the arms. They're going to move up in a second. We're going to separate them, so we're just folding them out from this position out here. Like this. Man, he's a big one. All right. Once we do that, we're going to move this, and we're going to close this back here. So the wheels, and when we push it in, where that those little tabs are, they're going to lock into place right there and right there. So very nice that they have that in there. All right, now let's see. Okay, now an important part is these windows here for the arms have to be here before you flip this one down. So they go on the inside then this goes here in here like this and then we can go and lock the shoulders down right here and here and we have this chest part and the chest flips up and locks in like this and so then all that's left for Ironhead is his arms so lock in the shoulders oops sorry there's a tab just push up and it locks right in there and then all we do is open it up and it's just flip around the wrist and then this joint here comes out and if you notice it doesn't fully um, extend you keep thinking that oh man I gotta be straight no don't yeah because it comes in this goes up first and this part slots in right there and then there you go there's our hide arm and again the other one just flips around this way pull it out push that up this part comes in here tabs in like this and there you have Whew, iron head all transformed and I did in under five minutes Woo that's great all right so let's go and take a nice look at iron head there it is oh man just seeing that face makes me happy and this is Ironhide. It is fantastic. And I loves it. Yeah. And there's a spoiler for the end of this review. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ironhide's a figure that I always, always wanted back in the G1 days. But I never got, not because he wasn't available, because he was kind of a shelf warmer, him and Ratchet. But uh, because he was so bad. The G1 figure was just awful. Especially compared to... Um, the rest of the line. I mean, really, really bad. Let me just move this back here. And, uh, yeah, just to compare size, here he is right next to G2 Sideswipe. And you just see how much larger he is right there. Yeah, he's a big boy. He might be wondering about his hand. That's because earlier I had, uh, exchanged the, uh, <laughs> Kung Fu Grip Hand. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, here is the tray. Now completely filled with all stuff. So you've got the extinguisher hand, uh, barrel, the other one that they have for extinguisher. This part here is uh, the sensor, jet pack, fire for the jet pack, the three guns. So it all goes together really nice. And for the Doctor Who enthusiast right here, oh no, it's screaming. I don't know, I always see it and think of Rodimus. I don't know why I don't see Ironhide here. I just see Rodimus. But yes, yeah, <laughs> screaming Ironhide, screaming Rodimus. Just the storage for it, which is awesome. I mean, and uh, just to go and show, like just plugging in. For the sensor, it just plugs in there. For this, you just plug it in. It just plugs right in there. If you open it up, you just open it up, flip out the hand. Yeah, just to put it, put it back together the way it normally is, like this. And there you go. Yeah, but I just want to show that. It's easy to change those hands out for whatever one you want to use. And it's nice that they give you so many options. 
Also, of course, this piece would go in the chest for when you use the sensor, but I'm never going to use this. It's really a thin piece of cardboard, and uh, I don't think it'll last long. So I'm just putting with the instructions is the way I'm going to store it. The card and the instructions, they go together. But, uh, yeah, Ironhide just looks fantastic to me. I, it's everything I wanted. I Lots of articulation, of course, head goes up down and also they have a part on the neck so it goes up so you can get the sad expression like that because sometimes you want to make iron head sad <laughs> and uh but then you have the shoulders and uh going directly up you're gonna hit this joint here so he'll go this high but you can always swap it this way you could turn this part around and do it so you can get any position you really want out of there. He's got under the shoulder 360. He's got the elbow, which is 90 degrees. Of course, standard uh, um, uh, masterpiece hand. You know, that opens up four fingers for the guns and wrist rotation. Yes, he does have a uh, twist, but only that far. Um, very coolly, and I... Didn't know until I started the review before this part opens up so you can get straightforward kick out of it. Now going back is not that far, but you do get a 90 degree knee and going out to the side is pretty good right there. Um, of course you have thigh rotation here and then below with the knee you've got 360 right there. Um, for this you've got tilt for the ankle and then you have a tilt forward too. So yeah, he's got a lot of articulation. Looks fantastic. So let's just go right to the summation and the eating. All right, let's go. Woo yeah, all right, time for a summation. So what do I think about, oh man, MP27, Iron Hat. oh man. I loves it. it. It's just simple and easy. I love this figure. He looks fantastic. I love that they made him bigger than the other guys. And he just looks great. And I can't wait for Ratchet too. So, is he nice? Yes, he is nice. Is he shiny? Oh boy, is he shiny. Is he more expensive? Yeah, he is. But I think he's worth it. I mean, you come with that tray of everything. It's just awesome. So he's nice, shiny, good. Oh man, you know what that means. I think, oh, of course I'm gonna leave Iron Hat alone. I mean, he's one of my favorites. No, I'm lying. Oh man, that tastes so good. Mmm, good toy. Good toy. Uh, bye. Shh. Oh, wait a second. I almost forgot. Um, still having a contest with Jammer. For the, uh, was it the Convoy Grand Prime? Yeah, the, it's the Unite Warriors version of uh, the Optimus Prime Combiner. Yeah, and I'm giving one away for free. Now to enter, all you have to do is use the link below. Yeah, in the description. You gotta use that link to sign up. And you're entered to win a $50 Amazon gift card automatically. But if you go and um, sign up and become a friend on Jammer. Yeah, so you gotta use that link, sign up to Jammer, and then become my friend on Jammer and say hi, and I'll be like hi, and uh, yeah. Then you're entered to win the Convoy Grand Prime. I think it's UW05, I believe. And yeah, when it comes out, I will send it to you if you are the winner, yeah. So, uh, yep, you got till February 11th, and then it's over. So, um, yeah, good luck, guys, and, uh, yeah, if you're on Jammer, you can always say hi to me, and uh, if you want me to post anything, just ask me, and I'll post pictures for you guys. So, uh, thanks, guys, and, uh, bye!